this is nest number one. It was found on May 10th. I found it. So I know exactly how many eggs are in there. It's 125 eggs. The mother turtle came up at night, obviously, on the night of May 9th. And she came out of the ocean, about 400 pounds worth of her, and just climbed up the beach, literally climbed with her elbows, one after the other. And she came into the dry sand, dug her hole with the back flippers alternating, one after the other, just like this. That takes about 20 minutes. And then she lays the 125 eggs, covers it back up, disguises it, <laughs> and then heads on back. It takes about two hours. So they'll continue to nest through mid-August, and then the hatching season should go through October. So the actual season is May 1st through October 31st, and some of the laws that we have on Hilton Head pertain to that specific period of time. We know we all love the beaches. We all have a responsibility to the beaches. Tell us what some of those responsibilities you have that we should all know about to protect the turtles. In Hilton Head, we can't have a hole, or you're not supposed to have a hole deeper than a foot. And the reason that happened in 2019, that ordinance was produced, because we had holes that were six feet deep, eight feet wide, and it was getting a little out of control, and hatchlings can fall in, and of course they don't get out. And people can fall in as well. So always fill those holes back in. You can't use a metal shovel necessarily. <laughs> but uh, we would appreciate that, as well as sandcastle just leave it like you found it. That's an easy way to think about it. It's common sense not to leave trash on the beach. It's just ugly, but it does get involved with sea turtles walking. They might drag it back into the ocean with them or hatchlings get confused if their path isn't clear. And if you're staying beachfront, it's very important when hatching season comes particularly that your front lights, the ones facing the beach, should be downward facing and shielded. Off would be great and then the hatchlings aren't attracted to the house instead of the ocean. So that's, those three things are really, really important. So what we're hearing today is lights, holes, <laughs> and trash. There you and go, Let's lights, eliminate and those and uh, our turtles will be in great shape. And we're just very, very grateful that we could have a person like you with the background, the education, the passion, and the commitment that is, that's leading our, our turtle program here on Hilton Head Island. So from all of us in a grateful community and all of our visitors, we just wanna say thank you and to the Sea Turtle Protection Program for what you and all of your volunteers do. Thank you so much.